Have you ever wanted to decide, should I have a Coke? Should I have a juice box? Well, these kids did. Uh, I, I think the guy on the left, he's the winner. In class, we've been studying volumes and surface areas of cylinders and boxes. Volume should be easy by now, but here's a quick review. It's always base times height. If you look at a cylinder, you'll notice that the top and the bottom of a can is circular. For circles, we know we need to use pi r squared. We simply multiply that by the height and we'll have the volume. Don't forget, you always have to use an exponent of 3 on your volume answer. If you have a rectangular prism or a box, the tops and the bottoms are rectangles. So if you can find the area of the top or the bottom by multiplying the length times the width, you'll have the area of the base and you multiply it by the height. Volume should be pretty easy for you by now. The tricky ones are surface area. The formula that we've given you is perimeter times height plus 2 times the base. There's two different ones, ways that you can interpret this, one for cylinders and one for boxes. On the cylinder, the P stands for the circumference of the circle. And we've talked about the circumference of a circle being the distance around it. That is found by multiplying pi and d. You can also multiply pi by 2 times the radius, since two radius make or two radii make a diameter. H is the distance between the circles, also known as the height. And B is the circular base, which is pi r squared. For a rectangular prism, the P is the distance around the base of the box. The H is the height, and B is the area of the base, or the length times the width. I think there's easier ways to solve these without using the formulas. The first one is for the cylinder. These two parts look a lot alike. The top part is the area of the circle, pi r squared. But since there's two circles, we do 2 pi times radius times radius. For the rectangular part, it looks very similar. The only thing you change is the last character, which is an h. So if you can remember 2 times pi times radius times radius for the circles, you can remember 2 times pi times radius times height for the rectangular part. For a box, I think it's easy to remember that there's three unique sides with matching pairs. If you take the length times the width, you'll find one side. The length times the height, you find the second side. And the width times the height, you find the third side. You add those together and get three sides. You double your answer to find the matching sides. Now remember, with all area problems, you must label with a 2. If this is overwhelming for you, I suggest taking all the tabs off of your beverages and making an outfit, or practicing this more. Here is a guy that has a conundrum, a problem. His name is Roberto. He can't decide which container to use for his new drink. He's naming it Volume Max. He wants to have the most volume. Help him decide by finding the volume and surface area of each of these. Be sure to pause, go back, and try these again. Tomorrow I can tell you the answer.